Hello my loves, so today's video, I thought you might like this one, is going to be all my makeup storage and everything that I kind of own. I recently bought a IKEA Alex the long unit from eBay. The IKEA Alex range is quite expensive considering it's um, from IKEA and I just thought, you know what, I don't really want to spend £95 on a drawer unit that's going to house my like makeup and toiletries. So I've been bidding and looking on eBay for IKEA Alex drawer units, either the tall one, the short one, whatever I could find just to organise myself a bit better. Previously my makeup or toiletries and nail polishes was in a ikea metal filing cabinet it was kind of like this slim little i think it's eight drawed filing cabinet from ikea it was a probably about 25 pounds and then what i did is i saw another blogger um put plastic inserts inside each of the drawers and i thought oh that's a great idea had it for probably three years now and it sat in the corner of my room hidden away in my half room half storage unit that I have at the moment and I wasn't using it I didn't know what I had I couldn't gain access to my nail polishes I had nail polishes in tons of different places and it was just getting on my nerves I didn't know what I was doing so the other week I thought no nope, that's it I'm not putting up with this any longer I'm gonna start bidding on some IKEA Alex furniture I know that a lot of other bloggers have IKEA Alex's so I know that they're the perfect kind of size and they're kind of minimalist in their white kind of colouring and I know they're going to go with my room and the rest of my decor of where I live so I bid on this unit it was instead of £95 it was £33 I ended up paying for it which I thought was quite a good price I had to go all the way to Crouch End which is in North London which is just mental I it took me nearly three hours the guy dismantled the unit for me which I really didn't want but luckily he dismantled it because I would never have fitted it in my car I have a mini so sizes is deceiving you can fill it up with shed loads of stuff for a car boot but when you go to buy a bit of furniture especially from ikea it just will not fit it's just minis are just minis they don't have a very big boot and when you put the seats down there isn't much space to kind of maneuver around so he dismantled me this unit it was fantastic i managed to find a bit of a cut through to get home i got home and the heavens opened and there was me with this unit in pieces and you know all these drawers and me having to go backwards and forwards in the piddling down with rain getting absolutely soaked with this unit so it was quite simple to put together he gave me all the bits and pieces for it so if you're looking for kind of a makeup storage unit then i would really recommend the alex range and this one particular so i'll link it below for you now this video is not in any way like normal kind of hauls or storage videos are it's not to show off to you guys what makeup i have I'm 34, I've been on this planet for 34 years and I have accumulated quite a lot of shit. Now I love nail polishes, I've only just realised after getting this unit that I don't need to buy any more nail varnishes because I have too many and I only have 20 nails to paint with nail polishes but I know for a fact that I will probably buy more and more and more and my unit will get bigger and bigger it's not ideal, it's sorted out in the way that I think it should be but it needs to be redone at some stage and kind of put everything in better boxes, buy some Muji boxes or whatever but I thought you might like to see this because it's kind of informative anyway I'm not showing off, I'm not bragging, I don't get lots of free stuff from blogging I get little bits and pieces now and again but this is just stuff that I've bought myself I've been given as gifts or I've won in a, a blog sale or in a competition or so on so without further ado I will show you my IKEA Alex hopefully this video will be okay and it will focus and show you everything but we'll take it as it comes anyway guys I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in a minute so guys this is my ikea alex unit this is my ensuite bathroom it's half organized half not because as i said to you before i have emptied out a storage unit and i have these plastic containers as you can see by the loo little box storage with roses on it which i keep my hand towels and everything else because my towel rail is there the shower needs a wash and then on the top of it i have if i can navigate around is a little um 
metal butterfly basket that I keep all my face towels in, little flower and then at the moment I'm using um, a Gatineau range which is a cleanser, a toner and the Fluorosteel eye makeup remover and on there is a Leighton Denny a nail polish remover that is excellent that I'll probably be doing a review on shortly. So the IKEA Alex has six drawers as you can see the three top are thin, the three below it are, are slightly larger. They are really great size because this unit, if I can back up a bit and probably show you, the unit is quite a chubby unit, it goes back quite a fair way. So it's a really good unit size wise for kind of makeup purely because the drawers, if they will open up, are quite large drawers and they have stoppers to stop the drawer coming out or falling out you know so you can't really move that if I can show you so yeah the three thin drawers at the top and then three larger below and what I'll probably do is move you to the other side now so I can show you the contents of the unit so in this top drawer I have kind of odds and sods I have kind of my, mag my Magnetone Lucid, I have hair bands from Clarins, I have like facial brushes, I have all of these skincare little samples that I'm, I'm trying to use up, so I've got like loads of Dermalogica, I've got Merimaya, I've got Sienna Tan, I've got um, Elemis Soothing Apricot Facial Toning Wipes, I've got earplugs for when I travel, I've got this little thing here with um, these elastic hair bobbles in it, and then I've got like a spare glossy box lid that I can use to store bits and pieces in. I've got the Ye Saleron Tutti Clat Foundation, which I love, which as you can see is absolutely it's gone and there's nothing left in it but I've put it here purposely that when I want to buy it I can take this along and I know what my colour is and then I've got like hair bobbles and stuff like that and an empty little box that something came in that I really want to buy so that's the contents of this top drawer it's the first drawer out of the complete six and it's just one that I can get to within easy reach if I want to grab something in the morning I want to cleanse my face I want to try something new then I have all of my samples here in this little box this is a my little box so it's quite handy to have keep those around and I just use them they fit one of the tops fits in here and the bottoms fit in the bigger drawers below so they're really handy so yeah I'll just keep everything in here I've just got uh, endless samples and stuff so that's the first drawer so from the second drawer down this is a different view for you guys you might find this better than from the side this is all my skincare so as you can see it's a mixed bag I've got some La Roche-Posay Cerazinc I've got Cordelay Beauty Elixir which is my favourite I've got some other products that I've never tried before this drawer that's as far as it will come out it won't come out any further than that I've got the Crystal Clear 10 Minute Glow I've got Trilogy Rose Hip Oil Antioxidant I've got some products from Dermalogica I've got a Sun Protect Lip Balm I've got quite a lot from the Athelios range for La Roche-Posay which I'm looking forward to trying when I go on holiday. I've got Rodeal, I've got Elemis Cleansers, I've got the Elemis Pro Radiance Illuminating Flash, flash Balm, I've got Dr. Len Lenwins um, Instant Beauty and then I've got all these little minis here of um, different concealers, not concealers, cleansers. I've got the Evelon cleanser which I'm going to use once my one runs out. I've got quite a lot of Dermalogica Elemis, Clarins, yeah I've got everything in here it's just a really nice drawer it's one of my favourite drawers I open up this drawer and I'm just like oh I've got quite a lot to try um, La Roche-Posay brand is a really great brand I don't really use the Tolerain one I haven't used yet I'm dying to use that I've got L'Occitane in here face cream yeah so a nice drawer full of all of my cleansers and everything else and then the third drawer down which will not open because that's it being obstinate I will try and get that down for you hang on now this is like a headache in a drawer this is the third drawer down which is still the smallest drawer here but it's full of kind of compact so in this box here I have all of my blushes I've got smooch NYX I've got Yves Saint Laurent, I've got quite a few Max Factors, 
Jelly Pong Pong, L'Oreal, Benetint. At the back here you can see I've got a Benefit little pretty little kit that I haven't used. Another little one here. Um, I've got all of my NARS compacts and Bob and Bobby Brown. This is the NARS, if I can do this one handed, this is the NARS compact that I bought when I went to Paris recently, well not recently, over a year ago. That's the At First Sight palette. Then I have here the NARS Foreplay palette, which looks like that. I have another NARS palette here, which I got an eye mats, which is a highlighter and a blusher. I haven't used that yet. That is the NARS blush duo. I've got something from Paul and Joe here, which is a Paul and Joe Beauté. It's a highlighter and a blusher. I've got the Bobbi Brown shimmer brick, and then I've got two NARS little compacts in the back. And then I've got my Hour Hourglass Ambient Lighting Compact that I got for my birthday in February. Not used that yet, it's still in the packaging. I picked this NARS Virtual Domination Palette up in a blog sale, which was great value. The other drawdown, which is the fourth drawdown, as you can see there, is full of all of my makeup. So really quickly I'll go through it. These are kind of my limited edition designer compacts that I've kept for years. Here is all of my lip products. So I've got everything in here, lip liners, Maybelline Color Drama. I've got all of my concealers. I've got all of my like Laura Mercier foundation primers. I've got eyeliners in here, eyeshadows. These are eyeshadows as well. Paul and Joe, Clinique all of the things that I would need, all of my concealers and foundations. So that's kind of like a mixture of everything. The one below it is slightly different. It has all of my, if I can try and zoom you in a little bit more, it has kind of compacts or things that I've been given as presents that I've not used yet. So I've got this hand care collection, I've got a nourishing hand cream, I've got some bits from Aiko, I've got a Cordelay set here. I've got a bath product here, this is a leafy um, bath product, I've got some Saint Tropez, I've got little perfume samples in the back here which I want to use and just little things like that which are really handy and then I've got like um, a cracker which is that pink one there which is for bath bombs and then the last drawer which is the third last drawer oh, which is full of all of my nail polishes. I have shed loads of nail polishes like I said to you I will just double check this is going to be a really quick run through of this I've got these slippers that you use um, when you're painting your nails they're quite handy I've got all of my nail polishes in color so all of my reds and pinks all of my muted tones all of my other muted tones like naturals and pinks I've got all of my nail clippers and stuff in this container here and over there in this box here I've got all of my nail art kind of thing so all of my glitters all of my kind of top coats um, the uh, C and D sticky we're doing a review on nail products you've got these nail wheels pick them up from eBay they are so handy when you're doing a review on nail polishes and then when I went to professional beauty I picked up this really great value kit from OPI that's got everything in it, it had the nail polish remover the nail MV the OPI avoplex yeah really great little drawer of all of my nail polishes it goes right back the drawer so you can see everything that's inside it and yeah that is my whole ikea cabinet all of the drawers so top is just skincare second below is skincare third below that is makeup 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 and the bottom one is nail polishes so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that video my camera battery is flashing so i better go but thanks so much for watching and don't forget to leave me a comment if you've done a nail polish or a cosmetic video, I'd love to see it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.